Hey everyone, so I have a painful admission which may get me kicked out of atheism and that's that I really never care too much for uh, the fundamental foundational sciences. Um, I, I do like biology, uh, I did in school at least, I haven't done biology since, uh, but I really didn't care for chemistry or physics um, at all. Uh, and I did pretty poorly at it in school and I kept as far away from it as I possibly could. Um, at the same time I, I didn't really like maths and I, I did pretty like I was pretty unenthusiastic in school and didn't do too well in it. Then figured out that I really needed maths later on so <laughs> I've changed my stance on maths but I'm still not a big fan of physics or chemistry. Um, and you know, I, I like, you know, Carl Sagan and uh, all of that new, like, the string theory documentaries, and it's all amazing and brilliant stuff, and I love it at that level. Very high abstraction. Um, I don't really want to know any of the details. Well, you know, if, if we could matrix style put them inside, that would be great, but as for learning about them, it's not going to happen with me. I, it's just not my area of interest. Um, and on that general note, you know, uh, there's always this talk is, you know, atheism, the world's so much more beautiful and so much more interesting. I mean, to some extent, I agree. Obviously, the scientific explanation is much more interesting, just, I think, almost objectively than the religious explanations, like, re you know, at least the religious um, God made it happen directly explanation. Obviously, a lot of religious people believe that you know he created nature and nature works and then it's pretty much the same thing but it, it's certainly more interesting to have a evolution and everything than to have god just make things out of clay um but that said you know the reason why i think a lot of it is beautiful when you look at those pictures of galaxies and things uh it's because i mean it is amazing and it is beautiful but uh, it's not part of my everyday life. What I find more beautiful and more amazing are things that are around me every day that I can interact with. Until I can fly up uh, into, you know, and visit the stars, Earth does me just fine. And whilst I think well, a lot of these pictures are amazing, and the fact that the universe is a gazillion billion miles wide and has all of these whoa and black holes and quasars and ooh crazy everywhere, um, and we don't understand it, and it's all fascinating. Um, but honestly, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like an emotional guy. <laughs> but those things, they impress me on a certain level. But I, th I still think everyday life on Earth is a lot more. Uh, meaningful to me um, that doesn't it's not an ob like an objective statement that it's that it's somehow objectively more amazing but it's just what I can feel and experience um, with my own two eyes and I think that obviously that's, that's that's not a scientific statement but it's a very subjectively valuable statement to me at least um, so I really value the nature we have on earth and things that we can experience with our hands so to speak and with our eyes a lot more um, in that sense obviously the research is all fantastic and we need to do it and it's great and it progress and everything um, but I just want to put that out there first of all and the second point is when I look at uh, the atheist community a lot of the kind of a lot of emphasis seems to go into um, these kind of basic sciences and uh, you know like Carl Sagan the what was he like an uh, astrophysicist I guess um, or obviously uh, Richard Dawkins evolutionary biologist I guess is that his title I don't know um, and so you all you have lots of these people that have these fields that are very kind of you know whoa the universe is amazing uh the cosmos and all of that um and so that seems to come across to me as well in kind of the general dialogue and the things that are emphasized 
Um, and what I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but personally, I find there's like this lack of, this lack of appreciation for the humanities to some extent. Um, at least it seems to me like it's not placed on the same level. It's kind of looked down upon. It's like, well, you know, you have these great sciences and these heroes of progress, and then you have those, you know, those humanities people, silly little psychology or philosophy or whatever, and they're just making some bullshit theories. It's all not real science, and, you know, stars are a lot cooler. To me, it's kind of the opposite in a way. You know, I love the star stuff, and it's all very interesting for me to watch in a documentary, and it's very useful, and, you know, like string theory and then maybe we'll have fusion power and it's all amazing um but what to me on a personal level because i'm not gonna build fusion reactors i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna think of string theory um to me what's more important is actually how society runs how the world works and that's humanity stuff that's 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 philosophy that's psychology that's uh that's sociology, that's also economics to some extent. Um, those are the things that I actually end up being a lot more interested in because those are, to me, kind of the pressing issues for the everyman. Um, and I don't know, it's, maybe I'm just completely off base, but they seem to be areas that don't get the same kind of respect in the atheist community. Um, those are not things that people seem to... Uh, mention and the leaders in those fields aren't people that seem to get put on the same pedestal you know I mean there's plenty of of people in ethics research uh, that are atheists and that do amazing work um, you know and uh, when you look at the four horsemen the one that's really like solidly in the humanities Daniel Dennett that's kind of the one that everyone's like yeah about you know uh, maybe because he's not like strong enough an atheist and he's not strident enough, maybe that has something to do with it as well. Um, but that's just the sense that I get. And as I say, I could be off base. Um, but to me, at least, those are the things that would be more personally useful to me and I think would be more useful for people to explore. I mean, if I had to choose between making everyone watch lots of documentaries uh, to help them get a bit more understanding about the universe and the cosmos and have everyone watch a lot of documentaries or read a bunch of books on layman's books in both cases on how society works and ethics and think about those questions I would think the second would be vastly more valuable could be wrong um, and I know, you know, there's lots of arguments, well, if they find out about the universe, then they'd not be religious, and if they weren't religious, it would solve all problems. Mm, you know, giving people a foundation in ethics, and, you know, that would be, to me, a really key kind of thing. And maybe it's just me, because I'm like, I don't know, I'm like, emotional, and I like my silly soft sciences, and figuring out what goes on with these little problems that we have here on earth in our societies uh, where there is no absolute truth and we're always running around in a kind of subjective mess and we can't get these nice clear answers that we can with other proper sciences but you know it's just it's just food for thought I guess um, and so yeah I mean that's that's pretty much all I wanted to kind of talk about it's like you know, maybe, I don't know, it's one of the things that also made me think of this is like, you know, the people that we look for, look towards on YouTube as well. Now, I know there's some people that are in, um, in, in philosophy and psychology that get a lot of views. Um, but for example, when I looked at Thunderfoot and his video with Ray Comfort, um, that one debate on ethics, that was, that was um, embarrassing. Uh, it would have been really cool if there could have been someone with some actual understanding of some of the topics and a bit of a grasp on how to answer those questions and I think more generally that would be good um, and yeah you know like stroking more interest in that would be something to look at anyways I'll see you guys all